Today I'm here to tell you I'm an expose journalist. What I do is investigate public officials and report corruption and find accountability. I'm here today because I was looking at a story relating to Captain Foster. I feel that he's been wrongfully terminated. I'm here to tell you that I'd like for him to be reinstated. And if he's not reinstated, you all are going to be the subject of my next investigation. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Greetings. It's great to be back before this noble dais. Truly, this room has all the brevity of a Ramada in conference room. The last time we spoke, I opined you to consider hiring back Captain Foster. I said that I would begin an investigation into this council. That was a lie. I've already been investigating this council for months. I'm here today because promises made are going to be promises kept. The citizens of Riviera Beach were told a library without mold is a generational change. Citizens of Riviera Beach were told a working fire station was something a community should work for. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and read points from the August 2021 expense budget. And feel free to interrupt me if you'd like to hold a meeting to hire back Captain Foster. First point of entry, Rapids Water Park, $335. On the same day, a second transaction for $895. Money well spent. Later in August, Marriott Orlando World, two transactions, $1,256 and a second for $1,301. Sounds really fun. Next, FSP Urban Air Center, $1,336. Here's a big one, Bush Garden Ad Admin, $4,237. Here we go, here's another one for Marriott Orlando in the same month. $1,442, and then again, $906. City Clerk, I would like to place a record request here and now for the expense report for July 2022. This includes each council member's credit card transactions and the city's checks. Mr. Evans. Hello. Thank you for your comments. 